Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to debloat your Android device without using any PC. In the previous video, I had shown you the same thing using a laptop or a computer and connecting your laptop with your mobile using ADB or Android Debugging Bridge but what if you don't have a laptop or a computer? In this video, I'll show you how to do the same thing using only your mobile device. For this tutorial, I have taken the help of a Xiaomi device because we need to follow some more steps in Xiaomi device. If you watch this video completely, you can remove bloatwares from your Android device, whatever brand it is, doesn't matter. Open Play Store at first and then go to the search bar and type Shijuku app. Please make sure the spelling is correct. Install this application. Once this is installed, please make sure this is not a fake application. Please make sure the developer name is correct. And now open Chrome or any other browser. In the search bar, type Kanta APK. And now scroll down. Go to github.com. Scroll down to the developer, uh, sorry, download option. Here under download section, you can see links from AppDroid, Easy Android, GitHub. Click on the GitHub link and now scroll down. Under assets, you will find f-release.apk. Click on this link to download the apk file. Once the apk file is downloaded, click on open to install the apk. For the first time, you may see a warning notice. Just click on allow to install Kanta application. Once this is installed successfully, now you can see both the applications are installed in your mobile. Open the Shijuku application at first. Click on this pairing option. And now you can see it's searching for pairing service. Scroll down to the bottom and click on developer options. It says please enable developer option at first. So go to your settings. And now type build number and open the build number. Tap several times on it and your developer option will be enabled. But for a Xiaomi device, it's a bit different. Go to about section and tap on this MIUI version for several times. And now you can see you are now a developer. Once the developer mode is turned on, now click on the search bar again and type developer options. Open the developer options, scroll down to the debugging section and turn on the USB debugging. Don't worry if you see this kind of warning message. Just click on this tick box and wait for 10 seconds. Then click on OK. Once you click on OK, now you will find wireless debugging. Turn it on. Now it says, please connect to a Wi-Fi network. Now, if you don't have a Wi-Fi on your home, don't worry. Just turn on the mobile hotspot in your friend's mobile and connect using your Wi-Fi option. Once you have connected to your friend's mobile hotspot, now go back and turn on the wireless debugging. Click on this checkbox and click on allow. Now you need to turn on USB debugging security settings. You can see this is different from USB debugging. Now to turn on USB debugging security settings, you need to log in using your MI account. For that, go to MI account and logging using your credential. If you don't have an MI account, don't worry. Just click on create an account. Then click on this using Google account option and then select your Google account to log in. Anyway, once you have logged in using your MI account successfully, now go back to developer options. Turn on the USB debugging security settings. Now you will see an important warning notice. Just click on the next step every five seconds. Finally, you need to click on accept after waiting for 5 seconds. Once you click on accept, now you can see USB debugging security settings is now turned on. Now you need to go to wireless debugging option. Here under pair device with pairing code, click on this. Now you can see pairing service found notice. Now you need to copy this code. You can't copy it by just pressing. So you need to remember this 964204. Now click on enter pairing code and enter the code 964204. 
and click on okay now you can see pairing successful you can now find sijuku under paired device now uh, click on the start button in the sijuku application wait for 3 seconds and now you can see sijuku is running version 13.5 under adb so now close this and open the kanta application click on this don't show button and then proceed now you can see all these applications including your system apps are available over here you should uninstall only the recommended applications and also the advanced application if you want but never uninstall this unsafe application it will result in collapsing your operating system so please make sure you keep it in your mind now let us try to uninstall the chrome application at first you can see by just pressing and holding the chrome button there is no option for uninstall there is a option for uninstall updates but no option for uninstalling chrome so let us go to kanta application and in the search bar type chrome tick this checkbox and now uh, sorry okay now at the bottom right corner you will find a delete button click on this button and now click on okay click on allow all the time and now you can see chrome has successfully been uninstalled from our device let us now uninstall mi applications like mi pay mi credit so now let us go to the kanta application again in the search bar type mi pay click on this checkbox and then click on this delete button and then okay now if i go to the app drawer you can see mi pay is now uninstalled only the mi credit option is available let us uninstall these applications also to show you you can now uninstall any applications available on your android device you can see both these applications are now not available so uh, once your job is done now you need to go back to your uh, settings and then turn off the developer option go to developer options and turn this on once you turn this off you can see a usb debugging and all other options that we have turned on are now turned off automatically let us now uninstall the sijuku applications as well as kanta application just press and hold and uninstall as you normally do okay so this was the complete video thank you for watching the video till the end see you in the next video till then stay safe